work with Faye. She's behaving so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to do a Northern Lights Winter Wonderland kind of scene on her nails. And yeah, ciao polish. Here we come. So I'm going to be using a variety of different brushes. I'm going to be using the Miko Aqua brush, which is like a round pointy brush. I'm going to be using the Messy Nessy brush, which is our super skinny detail brush. Babacass, which is our flat skinny brush. And then I'm going to be using Ops. The fade brush because it's Faye's little magic wand. Because you've been fade. <laughs> you have been fade. And I'm going to be using our new palette. <laughs> I've got the bronze one out today. First time using it. I'm excited. Oh, can you like put your thumb through that hole and just sort of like. Yeah, so if. Do you know why we've done this? Because mm. not only will people who do nails use this palette. People who do eyelash tints. Mm -hmm. And there are three magic ingredients for eyelash tints that you can put in there to use for your clients when you're doing eyelash tints or your eyelash um, perm thing. <laughs> Alveol. Alveol, different brands are available. Um, oh, is that a brand? So Lash Lift. Lash Lift. Sorry. Brand, Lash Lift. Um, and other artists that just do art. So it's an artist palette for many things. So yeah, and it's super sturdy. I mean, it's pretty mm. damn thick. It's like, you know, if somebody's really annoying you. <laughs> you could probably knock them out with that. But we won't do that to you today, Faye, don't worry. <laughs> but you could, you know, you could have it. If you were working on something like, you could work on it like That's that. That's good. You know what I mean? Have you done it to do that? We've done it for its multi purpose use. Yeah, but have you done it so your thumb goes through? Yes, that's what it's a thumb hole. Because <laughs> no. it's an, all artist palettes have a thumb little hole in them. And we're artists. Right, so I'm going to start off. We've already got the set of nails done in acrylic. We're going to use the base coat because we want maximum adhesion. So a very, very thin layer of base coat. And notice that I sweep the brush around the edge of the nail. That is going to cap it and keep everything tight and well adhered to the nail. We like shrink wrapping the nail with this coat. That'll go in the lamp for 30 seconds. So we're going to be using Diesel. Oh, Who's it named after? My brother. My brother, Diesel. Do you know what his middle name is? I don't know if I do or not. Aramis. No, didn't, don't think I knew that. Diesel Aramis. Like the... the Three Musketeers. Musketeer? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, Diesel Aramis. What a cool name that is. That is a very cool name. Yeah. How did how did that happen then? Because like, you've got a normal name. Well, Avita no, is, no. Very, is a little bit exotic. Yeah, Avita. Kurt is fairly normal. Andy is. Or have they got... And my brother, uh, brothers is Andrew Bryan, named after Brian Orton, who managed Port Vale at a okay. stage. And played for Port Vale at the time, I think, and then did actually manage them. And then I've got Curtis, yeah? Mm -hmm. Curtis, his middle name is Levi. Curtis Levi. Now, my mother may have had help naming my brothers. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but yeah, I, I knew somebody called Levi, I thought it was a really cool name. Um, Curtis for Kirk Cobain, because Kirk Cobain had passed away. Um, and my mum loves Curtis Stigers. Diesel, because wow, it's just so cool. And Diesel and Aramis, I think they are aftershaves that are both called that as well. Um, but yeah, these are. It's called Curtis Alice. 
It's a beautiful colour. And we're going to do two coats of the colour Diesel. It's going to give you the true depth of colour. Notice I am putting this on super thin. You do not need a thick coat of this colour or of any of our colours. So I'm going to take out some colours. We've got Kim, which is a sparkly navy, but the sparkle is like a turquoisey colour. So we've got Decca, and then we've got Finn, and then we've got Vegas, baby. I'm going to use the Babacast brush, and we're going to pick up some Kim, and we're going to go very thin with it, because we just want all that gorgeous glitter. Would you never use it off your brush out your bottle case? Would you always use it with your... What brush are you using there? I'm using the Babacast brush. Right. I want to use this brush because I want to put it on nice and thin yeah. and I want to be more precise right, okay. with this colour. So your bottle brush would more so be used for like, a f like if you want to do a full nail? Yeah, I want to be a little bit more precise with what I'm doing. And then I'm going to start with the deepest colour out of those three. And in my opinion, it's this one. Then we'll go to this one, then we'll go to that one. So I'm using the Miko Aqua brush now because it's a little bit longer and because it's softer I can kind of just fade this and without like taking it all away if that makes sense so you want to do random patches of colour you don't always do it like this do you well it's good because you can use the same colour on your brush across the set of nails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you have to do an individual nail. I know it yeah. might sound crazy. Pop me that in. Yeah. Then we're going to use Vegas, baby. I'm just overlapping onto the previous colour, but they can be, it can be quite random. random. It's not got to be particularly like precise. No, and I think that's the good thing about this kind of design. In the lamp. Let's add a little bit of Decker now. Come on Decker boy. You're missing your colour in your hair. Not in the slightest. Really? That surprises me. I thought you'd be like, do you know what I am? I can't wait to get it back in. No, not in the slightest. Right, the next thing we're going to do, and I know you're going to be able to... <gasps> what the hell? Right, I'm going to get a matte top coat. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And you're going to put matte top coat on. And then I want you to go into the fade brush with a little bit of matte top coat. And keep pulling, and it'll pull a little bit of pigment and smudge it a little bit. You notice it just softens it a little bit. So it doesn't like remove the colour, it just slightly softens it if you push through with a little bit of matte. I can't believe that does that, because I, in my opinion, that would be cured. So I'm It baffled. is cured. It's just the sticky layer that it's moving more than anything, so which takes a tiny bit of pigment away. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of amethyst. And... Just smudge a bit of that in, can you see how you just get a little bit of texture, a little a bit chunky, of sparkle. Is this a chunky glitter one? It's chunky. It's got like Aurora Borealis colours in, which is very apt for the design. And it's also got silver, it's got mylar in it, it's got like loads of beautifulness. I'm putting it on this brush so I can kind of be more precise with it just the same. So I'm using the Miko Aqua brush. And that goes, applies onto Matt really well, Kirst? It applies onto anything well. Okay. I am going to re-matte these because mm -hmm. I should have put this on first and then matted them, but I forgot. But because you matte top, your matte top coat's such a thin layer, it won't matter anyway. No, because I pulled it really thin. 
in puppy. In? In our, oh no, here she goes. In our, in our, shake it all about. Super thin layer. Really splay the brush so it's super thin. Mystical. Wintery and cool. You always feel like, you know, like when you go through the door in Narnia. Oh, you just feel like yeah. you're just enticing it in and you just want to like rub into the nail. You do. Pop it in. Yeah. Right, can you show me? Faye, every Christmas, has her windows decorated. Because <laughs> she's a right posh snob. <laughs> um, <with laughs> so she's not denying it either. Yeah. She just has it done every year. She has an artist come round and decorate her windows like the glass. So I'm going to show you. You sent it me, didn't you? I'm going to show you the design. And this is kind of an inspiration for this design. Um, this is the lady's real. But look, she's like maxed it all out, so, she, so it's all perfectly aligned. I like that you technique. Want, you want to see how she measured them. You want to see her measuring them. Really? Absolutely. She's ridiculous. It's so good, isn't she is, it? She she's so good. She has got ridiculous talent. She is getting people from as far as like down in London. Really? Wanting her to come and do like stuff on the shop windows and... Um, she does all of the windows in our local town and she did them during the heart of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, to bring people happiness and joy when the oh town my God. was closed. But when people walk through the town, it just it touched so many people. Um yeah, like it just brought like a community, like a whole community together. It was it was magic. I love it. I think it's great. So, we are going to take inspiration from the design on your windows and sort of do a similar kind of thing on your nails. I love that. Of course that. I love that. So, you see all those millions and millions of lives that she did. Yeah, we're not going to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it, hopefully, a little bit of a simpler way, but it's still going to be that kind of shaped tree. Um, are they called evergreen trees, Christmas trees? Or are they just classed as evergreen fir. trees? Fir fir trees ferns, fir trees. Fir, they're all different. So there's, all like, different there's Nordman is. firs, there's, there's all different sorts. There's all different type of pine. They're all just pine trees. Different pine trees. Yeah, yeah. So I'm using the Miko Aqua Brush and what I'm going to do is sort of do this. Yeah, yes. so we're going to go like a flick. Pressure off, pressure off, oh, pressure amazing. off. That's the kind of shape we're going to work with, okay? So we're going to do one sort of coming up the centre of this one, I think. So we're going to go from this here and then this side. So this is our, like, starting point. And then we're going to flip, flip the brush, you know, 
we're going to change the brush. So I want a little bit of white on there. I don't need loads because I've already got loads on here. And we're just going to pull through to make those little kind of lines. That's awesome. You know, so that first brush does the majority of the work for you. You can pull out a few little lines as well, just to make it even more you know, realistic. It's, we're, not, we're not after That's doing... That's so effective. Yeah. That's so satisfying watching it on the camera. Is it? Yeah, really good. So you're pulling through product that's already on there. You know, it doesn't need to be. And then what I'm going to do is smudge one that way. Smudge this one this way. And smudge that one that way. That one that way. We need kind of a little point at the top. Smudge that one that way. Put that into the lamp. Then with a small amount of black. So this is void. We need a small amount. Tiny bit. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny. I do not need to clean this brush because we're going to use it continuously through the design. However, I need to pop it somewhere. I'm not going to knock it off. Make sure it's not in front of your lamp. If it's in front of your lamp, then it's going to cure and you're going to absolutely mess your brush up. And we don't want to mess the brush up because we want to keep using it. So a tiny bit of black and we're just going to add a little bit of shadow under those crossing sections. That's ridiculous. If I don't want with my brush, you want to look well. <laughs> And I'm just going to add a shadow down here. So it doesn't need to be like a really in-depth design. They just let, let the brush do the work for you. You've got a simple tree. Cure me that and then we're just going to add a tiny bit more white. We're going to do some snowflake. We're going to go one, two, three, back to the middle. Two, three, back to the middle. Two, three, back to the middle. Two. Three, Three, one, 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 one. Okay, slow that down if you need to. And we're going to pull from the centre to the edge, centre to the edge, centre to the edge, centre to the edge of that one. This is like dot to dot. And as you pull through the dots... Oh my days, that's ridiculous! So as you pull through the dots, that is when it will create that like, um, like a teardrop shape, isn't it? You're all that little teardrop shape. So pop that in the lamp, cure that. We're going to top coat this. And we're going to do this on all of the nails. And then we'll move on to the next stage. But you could just leave it like that, it looks lovely. You're not sugaring it? Not yet. Okay. Pop it in the lamp. Right, so we're going to do a little bit of sugaring. So what we're going to do is like, with the white, we're going to like edge little bits of where the snow may have fell. So I'm expecting snow, um, not next week, the week after, is it? Yeah. 
I am buzzing about the prospect of having snow. I am, mm. apart from, we supposed to be filming then? Oh and, no, I'm and, not. And when we film and there is snow, it is very Mayhem. problematic yeah, because is. we can't go anywhere or do anything because the studio is in the middle of nowhere. And I live in the middle of nowhere. Yes, you do. Yeah. Right, so we've done a little bit of like an icicle thing coming from the cuticle. Let's move my palette out of the way. From the cutes. We've got some, you can use clear, but this is white. Because if you, if you, it doesn't matter what color you use as your gel polish, if you used clear powder, then it'll always show through. But because I'm using white gel polish, I might as well use white acrylic powder. Onto the wet gel, give it a tap. <laughs> give her a flick. Give it a tap. Give it a flick and It'd flick. It'll be nice now. Into the lamp you go. Into the lamp. Into lamp you go. Into the lamp, into the lamp, into the lamp you, you go. You've done, you've done that, haven't you? Into the lamp you go. So we're going to do this on all the nails. I will just show you, for instance. Let's get rid of the excess. And we are left with a nice little winter snowy tree. Just like Faye's on her windows. Beautiful, Cute, isn't it? Beautiful. Right, we're gonna do the rest now. Mm. Oh, they are so pretty. <laughs> <gasps> She's got winter wonderland on it. She's gonna put some oil onto this. Oh my god. Because I don't want too much on. And I wanna just guide it into the cuticle. Oh, I don't do want we to... buy some of them, you know? Be so good. The good idea, them are. Because mm -hmm. I'm terrible. I put way too much on. I end up flooding my hands. I end up rubbing it all over my legs and everywhere. My hair and everywhere. Yeah, like grease chip pen. Shall I say that again? Chip pen. Chip it. Oh, don't start doing it. Oh, that's all got you then. Yeah, just so it doesn't... Do you know because I like the mat yeah. of the sugar in and... I do want to like oil the sugar in because yeah. I want it to still look matte. So that's what I put on with a little stick. I like them. You're ready for your winter wonderland. Maybe you should have had these for your skiing trip. I love them. They're cute. I love them. They're not cute. They're just gorge. 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 They, just, they make me feel a bit chilly. I think I need that. Um, can I have that electric blanket now, please? Absolutely not. <laughs> it made me get a bit cold. Oh, sorry. I'm not a bloody canvas. Um, so everything I've used today will be listed below as always. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all our social media platforms. Um, thank you very much if you've made it all the way to the end. Give this design a go and give us a, a tag and I will see you in the next video. ta -ra, look! Shake it all about, Judy Okie and you turn around and that's what it's all about. Oh, the Okie Oh, the Okie Oh, the Okie Oh, the Okie Oh, the Oh, so I'm stretched, isn't it? No, hands. I was saying my hands in, out. All oh, right. Out. Shake it all about. You do the okey cokey and you turn around. No, it's... She goes all over to her Knees spine. bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. She got an empty theatre. Can't remember. Mm -hmm. Long time since She goes all Thank Nazi on all the twist on us. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> that was shocking.